A group of lawmakers from the Michigan House have been looking into the child welfare system since February. They've been trying to find better ways to serve kids and families uh, than try to help them in that system. Political reporter Rick Alvin here now with more on that. Rick. State uh, Representative Mary Whiteford from Allegan County is the chair of the House Adoption and Foster Care Task Force. She delivered the results of the study done by the group today in Lansing. The bipartisan task force held listening sessions across the state with those who work in the child welfare system and other professionals to, de to determine how to better serve families and children and how to find permanent homes for children in foster homes awaiting adoption. Today, she emphasized the necessity to support children who need help, and that means clearing out red tape. One of the biggest challenges we found is that for their health care, they can be on any number of health plans. And it's really difficult when they go to a new foster family to be able to get the health care that they need, to see a dentist, to make sure that they're getting the proper medications that they need. Some of the recommendations in the task force made include making sure there are adequate support to help foster families, making sure children have simple things like enough clothing, developing a pilot process for foster children to have legal representation, and expanding court-appointed special advocates statewide, and getting vouchers for CPS authorities to help with food and clothing in the immediate aftermath of abused, neglected, or trafficked children. Now, Whiteford says some of the priorities in the report are already being addressed in the most recent budget. Legislation to accomplish other goals of the group will be introduced in the coming weeks.